Chapter 1064, The Bad Luck Dragon 1. In this world, there was no good that came for no reason and also no evil that came for no reason. Although today was the first time that Mo Eversnow and Lin Ming had spoken together, they were two individuals that had been aware of the other's existence for 15 years now, and were linked together through the magic cube. Their fates could be said to be inexorably linked together. Without Mo Eversnow, Lin Ming would not have been able to use the magic cube even if he obtained it, and thus he wouldn't have his present achievements. Without Lin Ming, it was unknown just when Mo Eversnow would have ever recovered her consciousness. If someone weak tried to help her, it would be impossible for them to find enough blood essence to bring her back. But if it were someone strong, they might try to delve into the secrets of the magic cube themselves and take it for their own. They could even lock down the defenseless Mo Eversnow and use her to refine the magic weapon or pill. After all, she was an unrivaled genius who had once been a half-step world king, and her divine soul was extremely valuable. Moreover, there were many special characteristics about her soul. Only someone like Lin Ming, whom she had raised for all of this time, had the possibility of helping her. Through these fifteen years of observing him, she understood his behavior and personality. He was fair and courageous, and knew to repay debts. She could only trust in someone like him. However, wanting to find someone like Lin Ming was easier said than done. Thus, Mo Eversnow and Lin Ming's accidental encounter could be called Lin Ming's luck and also Mo Eversnow's luck. Lin Ming thought for a moment and then said, Miss Mo, the reason I can come this far today is your kindness. Whether it is revenge or reforming your mortal body, I will do my best to help you. Much less, you are also directing me in my dual body and energy cultivation. So how could I possibly refuse you? As Lin Ming spoke, all of this was based on his own view of morality and justice. He simply didn't care about Yan Ming Tsai's boundary or just what background he had. It was as if he hadn't committed to taking revenge on the world king, but rather was speaking about some insignificant character. You're quite confident in yourself. However, you indeed have the capital to be confident. In the magic cube, I've already seen everything happening to you. With your current talent and also the supreme dragon bone, you now have the qualifications to aspire to the throne of a world king. But, even that isn't enough. This is because you are tens of thousands of years behind Yan Ming Tsai, and also, in terms of talent, that Yan Ming Tsai of the past also stood out amongst all chosen prides of heaven. As for me, before I reform my mortal body, my strength will be extremely limited. I cannot use true essence and can only rely on my battle spirit and laws to fight. At most I can contend with the weakest of divine lord realm martial artists. In the past, when Mo Eversnow was at her highest point she had only been a half-step world king. Moreover, a great portion of her strength originated from her dual body and energy cultivation. Now that she had no body and she was unable to channel true essence, she was only able to rely on her will and use of laws to attack. With all of her losses, it was already extraordinary that she could compare with the Divine Lord Powerhouse. As for the reason why Mo Eversnow was able to easily kill the Azura King just now, that was because the Azura King's highest level of strength was only equal to a Divine Transformation genius. Then, the Azura King had also suffered serious injuries and was in its weakest state due to having crossed its demonic tribulation. When it died, its strength was only comparable to the most ordinary and weak of Divine Transformation martial artists. Thus why Mo Eversnow was able to kill it with such ease. Lin Ming nodded. He had an approximate idea of how the situation was. To restore Mo Eversnow's physical body was easier said than done. Seizing another person's body was naturally a bad idea. This was because if one soul and body didn't match up, then it would be difficult to amount to anything. As for reforming her own flesh and blood, that was far more difficult. Mo Eversnow said, Your greatest advantage is that no one knows of you. Yan Ming Tsai likely thinks that I have died already. I will slowly help you complete the eight inner hidden gates and pull out your greatest strength and potential. When I trained in dual body and energy cultivation, I collected a great deal of knowledge and experience. Not just that, but before the Verdant Feather Holy Land was destroyed, I left behind some resources and hid them very well. Only I can access these resources. I was originally planning to save them to attack the World King Realm and the Nine Stars of the Dao Palace, but now I no longer have a need for them. I will give you these resources to help you impact the Nine Stars of the Dao Palace. Then, once you reach the Divine Lord Realm, your strength will be heaven-shaking. Mo Eversnow's words caused Lin Ming's heart to move. Resources left over from the Verdant Feather Holy Lands. It was unknown just what sort of heavenly materials were included in that. Their value and preciousness could be imagined. However, even Mo Eversnow hadn't been able to open the Nine Stars of the Dao Palace. One could see from this just how difficult it was. Fairy Fang and Hugo Violet Stone had both told him that after the laws of the world changed, trying to reach the Nine Stars of the Dao Palace was the same as completely defying the will of the heavens. And now, it seemed that such words were not an exaggeration. Wanting to do ill cultivate and body and energy was just too difficult. Someone like Mo Eversnow could truly be called a heaven-defying genius. Lin Ming said, Ms. Mo, did you only complete the eight inner hidden gates? I completed the eight inner hidden gates extremely early on. Then, I used one thousand years to accumulate the resources and strength I needed to impact the nine stars of the Dao Palace. It should be said that I had already taken a step into the threshold of the nine stars of the Dao Palace. As long as I had another one hundred years I would have been successful. But alas, I fell short. As Mo Eversnow spoke to her, she sighed. Lin Ming was left staring back, nonplussed. He had no idea just what sort of monstrous genius Mo Eversnow had been in the past. Listening to the meaning behind her words, if it weren't for the fact that she had to expend a massive amount of time and energy cultivating the nine stars of the Dao Palace, she would have already become a world king. If she had succeeded, then the War of the Verdant Feather Holy Lands 50,000 years ago might have been another scene altogether. Very well. Let us leave first. 
We can continue discussing these matters in the future. Mo Ever Snow said as she prepared to leave the Sea of Magma. But, Lin Ming did it for a bit before saying, Ms. Mo, I have been thinking about how today's matters will end. The four great clans have lost far too many geniuses, and the Dragon Bone is also in my possession. If we leave the God Beast Mystic Realm, we will inevitably have to pass through the four God Beast clans transmission array. It is definitely impossible to conceal the truth of the Dragon Bone. And there is also Yen Little Moon. As Lin Ming saw Mo Ever Snow appear with Yen Little Moon's body, he figured that she should be okay. But, he was still a bit unsure. And there was also the Supreme Dragon Bone. That was far too important. The four clans had sacrificed so many people for the Supreme Dragon Bone, so how could they resign themselves to allowing Lin Ming to have sole possession of it? The ancient dragon clan might even represent the other clans to force the ancient phoenix clan with all sorts of reasons, and might even have some of their genius disciples accuse Lin Ming of doing unsavory things so that he would be forced to share the dragon bone. And let alone the other three god beast clans, would the ancient phoenix clan sit idly by and allow Lin Ming to keep the dragon bone by himself? Even if the Huo family supported him, there was still the Zhao family and the Huang family. Both of those families had lost a great deal of people. With so many sacrifices, how could they allow Lin Ming to eat up all the advantages by himself? As for Lin Ming absorbing the entire supreme dragon bone now, that was simply unrealistic. With Lin Ming's current cultivation, wanting to swallow up the Supreme Dragon Bone was too difficult. In simpler terms, he couldn't absorb it. This was a 1,000-foot Dragon Bone. Even if he could absorb the entire Dragon Bone, he would be standing on top of a wave of attention after it was discovered when he left this mystic realm. There were many matters that he simply wasn't able to explain. If too many issues got involved and some of his secrets were exposed, then the consequences would be calamitous. Mo Ever Snow said, Yeah and Little Moon's divine soul has been sealed by me. As long as it is me occupying this body then no harm shall come to her. As for her memories, I can wipe away any portion I wish. I can make it so that she only remembers you fleeing the battlefield with her. As for the Supreme Dragon Bone and the Azura King Pill, that is even easier. Don't be in a hurry and absorb them now to prevent anyone from noticing anything. Then you can store them in the magic cube space. Not even the World King will be able to discover anything strange with you. Once you return to the ancient Phoenix Clan, look for any chance you can to leave and go adventuring. At that time, you can absorb the Supreme Dragon Bone and I can also lead you to find the resources I left behind in the past. I will have you reach the Divine Sea in a single go. Then. After you reach the Divine Sea, you can hide your aura in your own minor dimension. It will be extremely difficult for anyone to probe into you. As Mo Ever Snow spoke, Lin Ming was floored. The Magic Cube space can store items? Yes, the Magic Cube is unfathomable. It simply doesn't seem like something that should exist in this universe. Its inner space is something that not even a world king can understand or see through. That's great. Lin Ming let out a sigh of relief. Overjoyed? Ever since he stole away the Supreme Dragon Bone he had been worrying about how to bring it out with him. But now everything was resolved. Let's go then. As Lin Ming just spoke. Mo Ever Snow's eyebrow pricked up. Hold on. Someone has come down here. Just a single person. It should be a disciple of the ancient dragon clan. Mo Ever Snow's divine sense was remarkably powerful. Even in the Sea of Magma, with the countless waves of heat and energy causing disturbance to the senses, she could still easily investigate everything within the range of 1,000 miles without any problems at all. Ancient dragon clan? Lin Ming paused. If there was only one person, then it was likely Dragon One. Dot. Lin Ming's thoughts were correct. The one who came down here was indeed Dragon One. Dragon One wasn't adept in earth laws or fire laws. The only reason he had been able to come down this far was entirely due to his deep cultivation. Originally, with the Azura King opening the road for him, he was able to save his strength. But just before he reached the Magma Sea, a terrifying explosion buried him alive. A massive pressure pushed down on him right afterwards. All the shattered rock and soil collapsing on him nearly caused him to vomit blood. At that time, Dragon One nearly gave up. But, for the supreme dragon bone he had burned 20% of his blood essence, consumed two nine revolving dragon pills, and had even personally slaughtered many of his junior apprentice brothers. The price he paid was simply too great. If he couldn't obtain the dragon bone then his fate once he returned to the clan would be beyond miserable. Just the crime of killing his fellow clansmen was nearly unpardonable. He no longer had a choice to retreat. He could only succeed. He could not be defeated here. But whether it was the Azure King or the mysterious existence that stole away the dragon bone, Dragon One had to admit that he wasn't either of their matches. He only had one method of success and that was to take advantage of the chaos and profit. When the Azura King and the Unknown Existence were mutually wounded in their battle, he would sneak in and steal away the Supreme Dragon Bone. Thus, Dragon One was extremely careful as he moved forwards. He concealed his entire aura. In the ancient Dragon Clan, there was a branch called the Dragon Turtle Branch. The Dragon Turtle was also known as the Bixi, Lord of the Underground. It was one of the nine sons of a dragon and had a head of a dragon and a body of a turtle. And, Dragon One just happened to have a massive amount of the Dragon Turtle God Beast's bloodline in his body. With this bloodline he was able to use a type of turtle hiding technique called the turtle shrinking art. It was an extremely powerful cloaking type martial skill. Even an ordinary divine lord realm powerhouse would have difficulty discovering Dragon One's location. As for the Azure King, it wasn't that a divine lord realm so it certainly couldn't discover him. This was also the greatest reason why Dragon One was willing to risk his life and come down here to steal away the Dragon Bone. However, what he never imagined was that he would encounter Mo Ever Snow, someone whose divine sense was hundreds, if not thousands of times sharper than a divine lord realm powerhouse's. It could only be said that when people have a stroke of bad luck, they could squall themselves to death just by drinking cold water. 